What's going on, y'all? Long roof lifestyle. Wanted to make a real quick video. You can't see me that well because I got the sun and stuff like that behind me, but trust and believe it is me. Uh, yeah, you can. Eh, there you go. Now you can see me a little bit. What's up, y'all? All right. So basically, what I've got going on today is my alternator crapped the bed on the Subaru. I almost said Volvo. On the Subaru, um, it crapped out on me uh, earlier, late last week. So I've been having to drive the white car the entire time from between then and now. Uh, earlier today, I went and got an alternator uh, for it and a few other, and one other thing as well. I'm going to say a few. One other thing as well, but I'm going to show you that here in just a little bit. Maybe give you a little bit of an idea about a couple of videos that I've got coming up that I'd like to do. Um, so basically, let me show you what this is going to be about real quick. Hopefully, this will be a short video. So basically, I ended up having to replace my alternator, like I said, because it died on me. Um, I went to the junkyard and I found this one right here. I still had the sticker on it, so I ended up uh, Googling the, um, the part number on it. And this is a 90 amp alternator. Um, the one that came with the car from 2000 is a 75 amp alt. Uh, this one is a 90, and I've got an amplified system on my car, not a very big one, just, it just drives my subwoofers, at least for now. But um, every little bit helps. And the other thing that I got will also help out with that too. Um, I'll go over that maybe if I have time because I've got somewhere to be here in a little while. But basically, it's already in, as you can tell, but it's so simple to remove and install. I'm just going to go ahead and undo it. I mean, everything, nothing is really tightened down, as you can see. Um, but I'll go through how to take all this out, how to take it all, how to take it all out, how to take it all out and put it all back in. So, first and foremost, make sure this right here is loose. This right here is the uh, bolt that keeps this right here from moving up and down. Is this right here is your tensioner bolt. So what you want to do, you loosen that up like that. You can go ahead and remove this. That way it doesn't put unneeded tension on this. I think this right here is the wire that goes to the fuses and everything. Or maybe it goes to the battery. I think it goes to the battery. Set this somewhere out of the way. This right here is the connector. Pay attention to the connectors whenever you buy one. At least from the junkyard or whatever. This is a two pin connector. It's broke. That's the reason why it just slides out. That's a two pin. Some of them have a three. This right here is a two. Set that bolt to the side. Alright, so now this right here is going to come out. as you don't want any tension on that belt. Just like that. Pull it on out. Now this right here has still a little bit of snugness on it, so we're gonna unsnug it. Most of my videos come hindsight, I guess you could say. I'll finish it up and I'm just, or I'll be working on it or finishing it up and be like, man, that could have been a YouTube video for my channel. I got a handful of new subscribers and I really need to keep up with this a lot better than I do. I just don't have a whole lot going on with my cars. Most of them are well maintained, at least in my opinion. <laughs> up that drop, so to that, but no worries because it fell to the floor. So I got both of those, ta-da, yay, uh, shows, yep, all that will stay there. So next up you got this right here. Be careful with this nut on this back side, it's special, as you can see, a little thing right there moving. So you loosen it up, there we go, I was told myself, told y'all not to lose it, look at me dropping it. Got it out. Don't lose this. Set it somewhere safe. And now, bolt comes out. Oh God. Bolt comes out. There. 
I'm gonna move this out of the way. Yeah, that'll work. Take your belt off, and that just slides off like so. Ta da! And then just kind of work it out. Ta da! Well, I'll tell you. So now I'm putting it back in. This one right here is a little tricky. Uh, the ears on this thing were a little bit big for this. So I had to take a little bit of material off of that side and that side. But once I got the material off of it, it goes pretty good. Ta-da! Ow. Dropped on my finger. That hurt. It's not the heaviest alternator in the world, but still got some weight to it. The thing about it is, is realigning it back up now. So now, line your holes and everything back up. Ta-da! Just like that. You see that back side there? Yep. Cool. Right here. Just take your little special bolt type thing. Go ahead and get that on where you don't lose it. There it goes. Yep, you can see it pulling in right here. So that's good. Yep, see that now. So that's okay for right there, just for show purposes. Now, what you're gonna do, this goes like that. You wanna kinda of look at which end, you had this end, one end of it is a little bit bigger than the other. At least that's what it seems like to me. They're probably not, but this right here might have a little bit of a lead angle to help uh, center the bolt as it goes through. So I put that side to the right because this bolt, the uh, alignment over here is to the right of the ear that this threads into. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, and put that in. And move this back. See if I can get it steady enough to work. Yep, just like that. Damn it. See if that stays for a little bit. Got that. You can tell I'm kind of doing this in a hurry, but hopefully it'll be okay. Now, got all that back in. Got this right here in. This right here's your tensioner. You want to leave this loose? Go ahead, start getting your belt on. goes on the bottom on the harmonic and it goes over push that down just a little bit more well maybe not I think I'll see why up oh, there it goes yep all right that's on so now take your little impact or something like that because that's a lot of threads to go through Buzz that right on up. Be careful when doing this because you don't want to over snug this belt. That's probably okay right there. You'll know if it's not because the thing will start slipping on you, making all kinds of racket want charge or whatever which I did check the belt tensioner before I decided to go and do this too not the belt tensioner but the tension of the belt to see if maybe something was slipping and it wasn't so that's that all right so now go ahead and tighten this on down I actually should use my impact for this just real quick but it'll be okay 
it off like so. Got tension on it. These don't have to be very tight, you know. It doesn't really see a whole lot of tension or anything. Well, a whole lot of uh, abuse other than the tension that is on the uh, belt here. Because whenever I took this thing off, I had to take a dag on uh, one of these here. One of these old boys right here. Put it on the end of it. Use it as an extension and push it like that. Which sucked. Whoever worked on it probably used an impact or something like that to tighten them down. And that is not needed. So, let's see. That's not too bad of a surface. We'll put that right there. Along with the little bolt. Or nut, should I say. And snug that down in just a second. Put that right there. Does not have to be crazily tight either. That's it. That is it. And always make sure you know your battery is undone whenever you work on any of this. You don't want it to arc on anything, blow anything up, ignite, etc., etc. Blah blah blah. Um, this right here, I actually did need to put on. It sets like this. <coughs> I'll worry about that later. I just wanted to see how this thing is going to work. Um, I've got my voltmeter somewhere over there. Yeah, in the box, so way the heck over there. And um, we're going to try this out. I've got my Allen wrenches. Allen wrench. Things been setting for a while. Hope these still cranked. See what we got. Got to find a good connection. There it is. Oh. Yeah, baby. She's happy now. Much better than that daggone uh, 11 point whatever <laughs> that I was getting. Oh, that makes me happy. This is like $40 from the junkyard. Hopefully it lasts. I love it. That's reading 13.9. Isn't bad. Not bad at all. So, got that. Let's see what the alternator's putting out. Because we got 14.5 at the battery. Fourteen two six. That's a little bit of voltage drop, but nothing the same. 14.26. I like it. Sweet. Idling down now. Awesome. So that is how you change the alternator on one of these cars. Super simple, nothing to it. If you have the shroud on, you'll need a 10 for these guys here, which holds here and here, and this goes there. But that's all there is to it soon i'll be probably trying to make a video for this this right here is some power wire uh some battery wire that i got from the junkyard as well that is from a chrysler 300 let me turn this off my underglow yay god i'm glad i got this car fixed sweet freaking awesome so anyway, real quick, 
little update. This right here is what I got from the junkyard. This is, excuse me, one gauge. You can see it right there, one gauge welding wire. And this came from a Chrysler 300. Now, for those that don't know, the alternator on those cars is obviously on the bat on the, the motor, of course, but the battery is in the trunk. So the setup that they run is a small wire, probably like an eight gauge, six gauge or whatever. And it's not a four because I got that's a four right there. And it's not even the one that they run is not even that big. It runs from the alternator to the firewall. Now, there is an insulated stud, you know, thread on both ends. There's an insulated stud that run that that wire runs to on the firewall that comes off of the alternator. That wire right there is on the inside of the car, on the in the foot passenger side footwell. Firewall kind of you pull the carpet back and it's kind of like if this is your firewall, it goes at an angle and then it goes to the actual footwell. It's on that little bit of an angle right there. I think, if I remember correctly. And that's what that lug is right there for. And then, obviously, that right there goes to the battery. So what I'm going to do is this right here is going to be the wiring upgrade <laughs> for my amplifier back there. I got one. Yeah, I got four gauge in there right now that is copper clad aluminum. It works, but not in the best interest of uh, the amplifier back there. Um, I'm going to replace that four gauge with that. Now I'm probably going to end up having to get some um, more supplies, like more wiring loom or whatever. Because that's, that's pretty good size wire compared to that right there. I'm excited for it. The other smaller strand is going to be the ground. Because you ain't supposed to run, at least if I remember correctly, you're not supposed to run um, different gauges with, um, well, different gauge wires between your positive and negative, if I remember correctly. Don't, don't bite my head off if I'm wrong, but... Um, I think that's what I remember reading uh, whenever I started all this stuff way back when. I'm 34 now, and I've been doing this stuff since I was a teenager with the stereos and stuff like that. But uh, it doesn't make me right. So always be teachable, y'all. Always be teachable. And if you do teach, don't be an asshole about it. So we got it all back together and whatnot with the exception of this. So I'll do that on my own. Like I said, that's that's nothing to do. Um, get this up in here real quick because I got to get going. Hopefully you found the little video uh, helpful. Super simple to change. Nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. Put this in here before it gets stolen. <clears throat> yeah, this it's got some weight to it too. Probably a couple pounds of wire. Well, probably like two or three or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, the old white car over there got a set of OEM wheels for it. Looks pretty good. Got them from somebody else out of Celsior. His is bagged and everything. It's got a nice set of wheels on it, like AME Shalins or something like that. Super, just ridiculously nice um, for his car. So he didn't want the stock, so he gave them to me. He said he liked the stock look of my car. Which, I mean, I've got my 20s and everything for it. It is on factory air with an aftermarket air controller from Japan. So I can lower it and raise it when I want. But sometimes I just like riding like this because, man, does it ride good like that. Uh, the only other things new for it outside of my wheels and everything is my doilies. Uh, my wife got these for my birthday. I've got the two fronts, obviously. And I also have the back, which you can't, you know, it's not in right now. Um, they were cut whenever they were removed from whatever car that they were in. They were cut in certain areas, so it needs to be repaired. But anyway, oh, and I also got a foam gun too. I got me a foam gun, so I might be making a video about that eventually. It was like a 21, like $23 from Amazon. Can't shake a stick at that. Really can't. So anyway, that's the video for there. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. I know I've got a handful of subscribers now, a handful of new ones. Um, thank y'all very much for subscribing. I really need to get back on this channel. Um, I don't do a whole lot with it. I don't really have a whole lot going on car wise. Most of my cars are relatively well maintained, so nothing crazy ever goes on with them. Um, with the exception of this right here. I haven't had anything like that happen in a long time. Um, so anyway, 
all right i will leave y'all there for now thank y'all very much for watching um for those of y'all that are enjoying this beautiful fall this beautiful fall weather like we're having down here in south carolina right now it's probably in the 70s right now with a nice northerly breeze y'all can see the trees blowing and everything out of the north super nice out here i love it this is my favorite uh favorite time of year outside of winter uh winter is my favorite time of year and that's actually what my daughter's named after but anyway okay so uh keep an eye out for the other videos i'm trying my best to make them soon um y'all take care and i'll check in with y'all later